In this video, we're going to talk about how to subtract decimal numbers. So let's start with a simple example. What is 9.6 minus 3.4? If you want to, pause the video and feel free to work on the example problems listed in this video. So we need to line up the two numbers. And when you line it up, make sure that the decimal points are lined up. And then after that, just go ahead and subtract it. So subtract it column by column, starting from the left. 6 minus 4 is 2. And then in the second column, we have 9 minus 3, which is 6. So the answer for the first example is simply 6.2. Now, let's try these two problems. 8.7 minus 4.3, and also 5.3 minus 2.8. So go ahead and work on those, uh, those two example problems. So let's start with the first one. So in the first column, we have 7 minus 3. 7 minus 3 is 4. And let's write the decimal point. And in the second column, we have 8 minus 4. So the answer here is 4.4. .4. As you can see, it's not that bad. Now, the second problem is a little bit different than the first two ones. I mean, this one and the one before that. Because we can't really do 3 minus 8. If we try to, that's going to give us negative 5. And when you encounter a situation like this, you need to borrow. Borrow a 1 from the 5. So the 5 becomes a 4, and you transfer the 1 to the 3, so the 3 becomes 13. So now, we can subtract 13 by 8. 13 minus 8 is 5. And then it's going to be 4 minus 2, which is 2. And so we have our answer, 2.5. Now let's work on some harder examples. So let's say we have 8.5. Let's subtract it by 6.23. So here we have a two-digit number, and here we have a three-digit number. So how can we line up these two numbers correctly? Something is wrong with this computer. Now my 8 looks messed up. So remember, when lining up the two numbers, make sure that the decimal points are lined up correctly. Now, to make it look better, instead of writing 8.5, we can write 8.50. Now what is 0 minus 3? 0 minus 3 is a negative number, so we're going to have to borrow a 1 from the 5. So the 5 becomes a 4, and the 0 becomes a 10. So now we have 10 minus 3, which is 7, and then it's 4 minus 2, which is 2, and finally, 8 minus 6 is 2. So the final answer for this example is 2.27. Now, for the sake of practice, go ahead and try these two problems. 9.16 minus 4.17, and also 7.2 minus 5.83. So let's begin with this one. It's very similar to the last example. So let's line up the decimal points, and let's add a 0 to 9.6. So we can't do 0 minus 7. So we're going to have to borrow a 1 from the 6, making it a 5, and transferring the 1 to the 0, which will make it 10. So now we can say 10 minus 7 is 3, and then 5 minus 1 is 4, and 9 minus 4 is 3. I mean, no, that is not 3. 9 minus 4 is 5. And so this is the answer, 5 0.43. So let's do the same for this example. So let's begin by adding a 0. Once again, we're going to have to borrow a 1 from 2. So this is going to be 1, and a 0 is going to become a 10. So now let's subtract 10 by 3. So 10 minus 3 is 7, and then we can't do 1 minus 8, so we need to borrow a 1 from the 7, making that a 6, 
transfer into 1, 2, a 1 becomes 11. So 11 minus 8 is 3. And finally, for the last one, we have 6 minus 5, which is 1. So the final answer for the third example in this series is 1.37. Now, what about subtracting a decimal number by a whole number? What result will we get here? The quick and simple method to uh, subtract two numbers in this format is you could just subtract 8 by 5. 8 minus 5 is 3, and so the answer is going to be 3.3. Now, if you want to do it the safe way, you can simply uh, line up the numbers. Now, instead of writing 5, we can write 5.0. And so we can do 3 minus 0, which is 3, and 8 minus 5, which is also 3. And so you can apply the same techniques to this type of situation. Now, instead of subtracting a decimal number by a whole number, let's subtract a whole number by a decimal number. So we can't just subtract 9 by 4 and say it's 5, because the point 2 will decrease the 5 even further. Now, if you want to do it mentally in your head, you could do it this way. 9 minus 4 is 5, and then you have to say 5 minus 0.2, which is 4.8. That could work. But let's do it the old school way. 9 minus 4.2. So instead of writing 9, we need to write 9.0. Now let's take away a 1 from a 9, making it 8, and let's transfer the 1 to the 0, changing it into a 10. So now we can subtract 10 by 2, which will give us 8, and then 8 minus 4, which will give us 4. And so you get 4.8. Now let's try another one like that. Let's do 9 minus 2.6. So what I'm going to do is, instead of writing 2.6, I'm going to break it down into 2 and 0.6, because 2 plus 0.6 is 2.6. So negative 2 plus negative 0.6 is negative 2.6. And so here, 9 minus 2 is 7. So I have 7 minus 0. 0.6. And 7, you could write that as 6 plus 1. So now I'm going to subtract these two. So 1 minus 0. 0.6, if you think of 10 minus 6, 10 minus 6 is 4. So 1.0 minus 0. 0.6 is 0. 0.4. And thus you have 6 plus 0.4, which is 6.4. And so that's another way in which you can uh, do these types of problems. But now let's confirm the answer. So let's do it this way. Let's add a 0. So first, let's take away a 1. Let's make this 8. And let's transfer the 1 to the 0, making that 10. And now we can subtract. 10 minus 6, which is 4, and then 8 uh, minus 2, which is 6. And so that will give us the same answer as 6.4, as the other problem. Now, let's work on a harder example. So let's subtract 7.5 by 4.368. So go ahead and try that. So all we need to do is add a few zeros. That's it. So first, let's borrow a 1 from this 0, so that becomes a 9, which means we need to borrow a 1 here, so that becomes a 4. And this changes into a 10. So 10 minus 8 is 2. And then after that, we have 9 minus 6, which is 3. And then 4 minus 3 is a 1. And for the last one, it's just uh, 7 minus 4, which is 3. And so we get this answer, 3.132. Now, what if we're doing a subtraction problem with three numbers, like this problem? 
6.32 minus 3.451 minus 1 1.6. In a situation like this, I recommend subtracting two numbers at a time. So let's start with uh, those two. So 6.32 minus 3.451. Let's add a 0. So we can't do 0 minus 1, so let's borrow a 1. Let's make this a 10. So 10 minus 1 will give us 9. And then we can't do 1 minus 5 because that's going to give us a negative number. So let's borrow a 1 from the 3, making that a 2. And 1 becomes 11 on the right. So 1 minus 5 is 6. And we can't do 2 minus 4. So we need to borrow a 1 again, making a 6 a 5, changing a 2 to 12. Now 12 minus 4 is 8, and 5 minus 3 is 2. And if you have a, a calculator, you can just confirm it. And so 6.32 minus 3.451 is indeed 2.869. So now, let's replace the first two numbers with 2.869. And so let's subtract that by 1.6. So 9 minus 0 is 9. 6 minus 0 is 6. 8 minus 6 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. Thus, the final answer is 1.269. And so that's what you can do if you have a subtraction problem with three numbers.